Hello friends, welcome to my this video. In this video, I am going to tell you a very important thing about your decision regarding whether to take vaccines, COVID-19 vaccines or postpone it. I want to tell you. So, if you ask me whether I am an anti-vaxxer or pro-vaxxer, I will tell you that no, I am not extreme anti-vaxxer, I am not extreme pro-vaxxer, you know, I follow the middle path, this is the noble middle path as taught in Buddhism, middle path means if you uh, don't know or you, if you are confused what to do what not to do in that case this middle path this noble middle path will help you this is the teachings of buddhas from ancient time so i will take a middle path i would i would not oppose vaccine particularly the COVID-19 vaccine and I would not blindly believe in the vaccine. I will just wait. I will wait for four years more. Wait and watch and observe what, what is happening. Observe what are the long term side effects of these vaccines. And after that, I will decide whether to get vaccinated or not. Because, you know, to prepare a vaccine, to make a vaccine, effective vaccine, five years, minimum five years are required. This is the experience of long term experimental. Uh, experimental wisdom that five years are required minimum five years are required to have a most effective vaccine on a disease on an infestation within that five year lots of data is gathered lots of observations are made lots of research are done and after that the vaccine is passed for these covid 19 vaccines these are made in hurry. First point is these are made in hurry. Then their sample size means the persons on which the vaccine uh, before the release in the market, the vaccine is uh, tested. Those sample size is very less. And I am not talking about only the USA, in England, in India. Okay and in every country whether the vaccines are prepared their sample size is very less and there that data is also in public how much persons were present there for the test what were the side effects how many were killed directly or indirectly by the vaccines and the component of vaccines or allergic reaction Okay. Those data, not uh, all, but many of them are in public domain, you go check. So that is why, this is not, I am not afraid, you know, it is not the question of only myself, it is the question of whole humanity, it is the question of my family, your family, your neighbours, hmm? your countrymen, your citizens. I am not afraid of death, but I will surely wait for 4 years and observe and I believe, no I have a strong confidence then within the next 4 years, within the next 4 years, 
if this COVID-19 was a conspiracy, a big global conspiracy, if it is true that it is a conspiracy, then it will be revealed in four years. Lots of information, lots of new revelations will be made and we can conclude yes, in 2020 what was happened was a big con conspiracy or no, in 2020 what was happened was a, actually was a very big havoc and due to the intelligence of global community, the intelligent people like you and me, we have succeeded in um, curtailing and stopping and mitigating this pandemic, this virus. We would only able, uh, we would be able to tell it only after four years in 2024 and elections are coming in 2024 in the most democratic countries like USA, like India, the biggest democracy in the world. In 2024, elections are coming, general elections, the country level elections and in America also, USA also, the elections are coming and that time, at that time, this conspiracy, if it was a conspiracy, that will be benefit those leaders and they will take, they will surely take its advantage. Why not? Why should they not take that advantage? So, my point is that within this next four years, the most effective vaccines and the most effective medicines will be surely invented, will surely be invented. This is my confidence. Until that date, what is the problem and what is the big loss in waiting for four years. Let us wait for four years. Let us see what happens. This is the most safest path. This is the middle path as uh, taught in Buddhism. And uh, I research and lots of my videos get deleted from various platform like YouTube. So I researched uh, what can be the solution of pandemic and I found that answer in Buddhism because this pandemic is uh, leveraged by the extreme opinions from the both sides, extreme opinions from both sides. Those who believe in COVID, they made their statement in extreme ways, they put their statements, their videos their logic in extreme way and those who are denying the existence of COVID-19, they also put in a very extreme way like the COVID-19. There is no such a thing like novel coronavirus. SARS novel coronavirus is a hoax. No one have seen it. No one have seen that virus till that date. There is no a micro electromicroscopic picture, official electromicroscopic uh, picture of that virus. It does not exist. This is kind of extremism. Maybe it is true, but it is extremism. And another extremism is like that. No, COVID is very, very dangerous. Once you got it, you are finished. Nothing can be fixed. You get and you are finished. This is also a kind of extremism. And another kind of extremism that since you haven't got the COVID-19 and you, no one, uh, no one of your family member is dead, that's why you are laughing, that's why you are denying. Once you will got that, then you will know. This kind of logic is seen in many groups, Facebook groups, many groups, this kind of logic. And there are um, many groups which are uh, given funds. Those groups are from the pharma lobbies, from vaccine lobbies, the vaccine companies trolls, the opposition party and ruling parties uh, followers, vaccine supporters and vaccine deniers and some IT sales, expert IT sales from China. They are, you know, confusing people. They have been confusing people by making extreme statements. In word, there is 
nothing like left and right black and white okay right or wrong there are shades of gray shades of right and wrong this is a mixture follow the middle path don't make extreme statement don't make extreme videos avoid extremism so in that spirit i am telling you that for 4 years it will be wiser idea to wait for 4 years and wait and watch let's look what is going on what are the long term side effect and in that 4 years surely surely 100% most effective vaccines newer kind of technology in medicines newer medicine will surely be invented today's vaccine efficiency is around 90% as they say but on practical ground level it is about 60% because even after getting covid 19 vaccination for twice people are again get again getting covid 19 and not only mild covid 19 this is very severe kind of covid 19 disease and they are get hospitalized they are put in intensive care units and some of them are dying also so this logic and advertisement uh, tactic of okay okay even after getting covid 19 vaccine you will surely you will likely to get infected again but that infestation will be milder this is also false because who says this number says this news says this even the fake media are telling this that many people are getting severe side effects and they are getting covid again and in many countries this is happening you go and search so i am not against vaccine frankly speaking i am not against vaccine and i am not blindly for follower of vaccine you know i am a truth seeker i am to help the people we are you and me are all for betterment of humanity we are not enemies of each other you know i have no benefit misguiding you or you don't have any benefit misguiding me you know we are all friends we are family members of big human family you know so my opinions are like that and uh, 90% efficacy effectiveness and efficiency of vaccine is not enough we want 100% effectiveness 100% efficacy you know and 100% efficiency in vaccine that's why wait for 4 years within that 4 year surely superior kind of medicine superior kind of vaccine will be invented and if covid was a conspiracy a hoax that will be also revealed in this coming next 4 years this is my message in this video there are some other points i am going to tell you you may be afraid or scared what if you got covid in that next 4 years if you don't get vaccinated you get misguided and you decided to not get vaccinated and what if you got the covid 19 in that 4 year so my question is for most of the people for most of the people covid 19 this kind of disease is very mild mild like influenza you even do, don't notice what is the difference and 99% of people who get that covid 19 get recovered they don't die this is not like you get covid and you die no 99.9 more than 99% chances are there that you will be recovered successfully recovered with the common medicine you even need not to take a very um, dangerous kind of antiviral drugs you know like lopinavir 
Remedisivir. Remedisivir kills, you know, or even you did not to take steroids for 99 point, uh, more than 99 percent people, COVID is a very mild infestation, you will get recovered. And plus point is that if you get recovered from the COVID-19 successfully, you will get a natural immunity against the COVID-19. You will get the natural immunity and that natural immunity lasts longer. This synthetic immunity earned by this taking this vaccine lasts for only 8 to 13 months as per their fact sheet they published on their website for 13 months like for one year say for one year it will protect you and what about the next next year they will again tell you no 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 you need to take a, no 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 uh, you need to you need to recharge yourself you know you need to take a booster dose otherwise you will get the withdrawal syndrome you know rebound effect you will again get COVID. That kind of tactic they will, the marketeer, the profit hungry firms, they will surely use against you. And next year, they will insist you for taking booster dose. Guys, this is, don't you think this is like a computer antivirus, you know? Each year, every year, you need to upgrade their software, you know? If you don't upgrade their software, the suit, antivirus suit, your computer get uh, seriously damaged, your files are corrupted, your data are lost. But taking the booster dose next year, you know, this kind of tactic is not only a marketing tactic, this is a ransom, this is ransoming, they are ransoming you, you know, if you don't take it, danger thing will be happen to you, you got the withdrawal syndrome, you will get rebound effect, you get the severe infestation. I pray to them, I pray to those vaccine companies and their trolls, stop this bullshit. Stop this evil kind of marketing tactics. What I am telling you, you need to earn the natural immunity and how to earn that natural immunity Follow the instructions of your government, like wearing a mask in appropriate place, whether there are police and watching you. Wear mask, no problem. Avoid crowd, okay. Sanitize yourself, okay. Wash your hands, everything, fine. Follow those, okay. And even after following it, if you get COVID-19. So, medicines are there. It is not like that medicines are not there. If medicines were not there, so how, uh, how can the 99% of recovery rate is achieved? That means this was also a marketing hoax that for COVID-19, there is no medicines. This is a false statement. Again, this is a kind of extremism, like I t told you. This is kind of extremism by the pharma lobby, that for COVID-19, there is no vaccination. And from uh, some corrupt doctors, you know, sold out, sold doctors. They also tell that for COVID-19, there is no medicine. There are lots of diseases in the world for that, there is no medicine. But that doesn't mean that everyone is going to die. No, this is bullshit. For COVID-19, there are medicines direct or indirect medicines not only in allopathy you have to go by combined route like also use uh, ayurvedic homeopathic alternative kind of route and get a cocktail of it and from that uh, integrated pathy you will get recovered and you will get less and less side effects integrated pathy i'm talking about even if you search on China's website, you will see that they are also using, uh, along with the modern medicine, they are also using traditional medicines, TCM medicine, even in India. 
how india got this kind of recovery 99 more than 99% because they also use their ayurvedic medicines homeopathic medicines in combination with this modern medicines that's why they get uh, less side effects and good recovery rate at a cheaper cost you know cost of treatment is less in india so western world also need to uh, think upon this that each uh, medical uh, protocol each medical discipline how it's importance in its place we need not to downplay them downgrade them or laugh on them you know whatsoever is beneficial for us whatsoever is beneficial for society we have to adopt it you know that's why go for integrated pathy integrated pathy side effects are less your liver will be safe your kidneys will be safe your heart will be safe and you will be safe even after going covid 19 and after recovery you will get the stronger long lasting immunity okay and i would call it a natural vaccine what is the need of our is the natural vaccine okay so i am going to post this video though it is a small a 20 uh, more than 20 uh, like 25 minutes of video though it is a small i am going to uh, post it on various platform let's see who blocks this video and who allows this video and my message is simple follow the middle path don't make extreme statements in verbal in textual in visual format and this suggestion from me is not only for covid 19 in any aspect of life whether it be politics or whether it be economics or your daily life if you follow this middle path as taught in buddhism then you can solve lots of maximum problem in your life maximum problem maximum sufferings can be eliminated or mitigated by this middle path this is called as noble middle path and this is a part of buddha's eightfold path teaching uh, for more information you should study on that buddhism doesn't mean that only following non violence compassion and meditation no buddhism is a daily practice you know buddhism was a daily practice buddha was not uh, went there buddha didn't go in jungle for searching god or searching soul you know he did go there for searching the ultimate solutions of all the sufferings and problems and sorrows of human race not only human race but the devas the angels mahadevas and goddesses that's why you can uh, read in their mythology that some devas some angels some extra terrestrial in newer technology they used to visit gautama buddha at astral level maybe at astral level or maybe in physical format they used to visit they used to sit in his discourses for listening and learning and lots of bhikkhus have mentioned in those scriptures the those extraordinary beings maybe they were aliens maybe they were supernatural beings we don't know this is a topic of big research but i would certainly tell you if the problem of pandemics lies in something that something is definitely the buddha's noble middle path with this 
statement and with this um, confidence i want to conclude in this video if you like this video comment share this video and enjoy your life